So I I needed to document this real quick because I can forget this very easily. Um so obviously you, you can tell by the title. Uh you don't know, but you better find out. Now, I met great I'm I'm at liberty to speak on this because of the amount of anxiety that I've dealt with in my life. And let me tell you something. I, probably like most people, can jump to conclusions faster than a 40-yard dash, man. I take the fun out of it, and I take the pain out of it all the same by buying greatly into how I think it's going to be. Again, like even at my own detriment, you know, and it really spoils the process for a lot of us. Okay, so, you know, we allow things to overwhelm us, you know, I, a great deal of the time we would just like to be lazy, and if the outcome doesn't seem like it's going to allow for us to take it easy and still um, reach that desired outcome, then we kind of sway away from that. But anyway, this is more so about getting in your head and, and uh, blocking yourself from even taking on an opportunity because you are telling yourself how it's going to go. Now, the saying, the cliche is true because it's true. I mean, the cliche is a cliche because it's, because it's true for the most part. And it says, any man who knows a thing knows he knows nothing at all. It's very much evident in, in, in this case. And I think if you allow yourself to really embody that, then you can see for yourself. So you have to approach life and what everything say, with, with, uh, and what everyone says with a great deal of skepticism, you know, to be a cynic of sorts. And just be like, mm, I heard you, but uh, let me go see for myself. So you gotta be, you gotta be stubborn in that event, even when dealing with your own self. All right. So, and, and especially your own self, if you can find a way to be skeptical with your own self, and you always resolve to see for yourself, then when you have to deal with external forces, you won't be so quick to buy into these get rich quick schemes these quick fixes uh, and even the negative stuff even the negative stuff that you hear on the news or that you hear about a group of people all right so if you don't want to feed bigotry if you don't want to feed hate you don't want to feed ignorance then you gotta see for yourself i mean truly this is the death of ignorance now you you may think ignorant is uh maybe just not knowing but I mean because that's I mean I guess that's what it means but I think I think what I think true ignorance is is assuming you know everything you don't have to go see for yourself all right so somebody somebody told you therefore you know I think is I think that's even more ignorant than just not knowing because if you are showing a great deal of humility and of course taking on a role of skepticism then you will address that you're like um I don't know but I can find out or I'm going to try to find out. And yeah, it's much better and it feeds your growth, not your ego. <coughs> um because I see a, I, I see a lot of people, a lot of young people, they get people to rally behind them. They say uh oh, you know, uh, they get treated as some type of deity. And then they start to get then they start to exercise a lot of their ignorance. They beat on their chest a lot. And, and probably stop the process of educating themselves once they reach a point where they think they know it all. You know? But I think you should forever be a student. And even for things that I think I'm sure about, I'm still researching just to be sure. Because oftentimes you may even find that, like, we're using words that if somebody asks us the definition, we may struggle with. But we just know, we use these words because we feel like this is the place to use it. It's a sentence enhancer. Doesn't make us, you know, look look and feel and sound like uh, uh, fools. 
but yeah, even with that, you know, if I'm not too sure about a word that I've been using, I, I you know, I, I'll look that up. So likewise, if you can do it for the smaller things, you can do it for the bigger things. But so with life, and I hear, I, you know what, and I I hear the conversation with other people, and I, I try so hard. I don't know how how well I'm doing, but I but I try. I try mightily to to stay away from this, but I see people all the time. They wake up in the morning and they say, um, well, this day is going to be shit. You don't know, but because you go looking for it, it's a great chance that that may be the case. Now, when you go looking for shit, you're going to miss all the roses. You're going to miss all the beauty in life. And then you might take... If you have a lot of doubt towards the day, which is interesting, as I say, you should be a skeptic and things like that. But if you have a lot of doubt towards the day, then you will even start to doubt people who have good intentions. You start to doubt positive opportunities. So I'm not telling you to be doubtful, but I'm telling you to exercise your right and your ability to not know while also exercising your right and ability to find out. All right, so that that just that just leaves you open um, for bigger possibilities, you know, just to expand your horizons as opposed to putting yourself in a box or a fishbowl of sorts. Because the thing is, um, you know, everybody talks about how many days it takes to become a habit, man. But very quickly, can it become a habit that you just start to? have this you know you, you you seem to follow your intuition not even your intuition but your negative feelings towards something and then that becomes a habitual thing and you don't question it anymore you know so if a if you're a woman and a couple of men have treated you wrong and you start to look at all men as if they're dogs but obviously we know that's just not the case man right? it's just what you've been attracting and you know what you bought into you know, maybe you have to step up your your, your filter game in, in a in a sense. And another word that's fleeting me right now. But you know, but your but your whole interview process, you know, just weeding them weeding them out and uh, all oh your screening process is what I'm looking for. Yeah. But that's all. A slight reminder to wrap it all up. No matter how things feel when you wake up, I mean, it's a mental thing. The only thing, the only true indicator as to how this day is going to go is how you choose to go about it, how you respond to it, what you prepare yourself for, and then you can just you can see for yourself. You know, even if all signs point to despair, if all signs point to it's going to be a bad day, you know, you know, you, you can turn it around if it's not set in stone, and and it isn't until it happens. Uh, so. All right. Um, I don't like uh, messing with my phone while I'm driving. The camcorder is easier. But anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, so take care.